Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today, as you can see by the title, I am reacting and responding to all your unpopular opinions about makeup, YouTube creators, anything like that, while I also did create this look. You guys went in on the unpopular opinions and it made me a little bit uncomfortable, but I love videos like this because I do think that everything is subjective, so it's cool to hear like what you guys think. And if you wanna hear what I think, then just keep on watching. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Quick little thing, I don't, I feel weird. I don't usually do like a middle part, but I'm trying to not do the same hairstyle in every video. So we'll see if I actually end up liking this with some makeup, but just know that I am very uncomfortable right now. I'm uncomfy. By the way, this is not a makeup tutorial. So if I don't mention something, I will have everything linked down below. Okay, so I'm gonna start out on YouTube and then I'll move on to the Instagram ones. So Sherry Tiller says, it really bothers me that every single YouTuber wears foundation and many of them have have gorgeous skin and they don't need it. Okay, so I agree. Like, I don't think everyone needs foundation, but I also feel like a lot of people don't wear makeup because they think they need it. Makeup is just fun. Like, I literally have my brows microbladed, yet I'm still filling them in just to make them more dramatic. I personally don't feel like I need a full coverage foundation, but sometimes I do wear it because if I am doing a glam look, it does complete the look. So I do agree, not everyone needs foundation. A lot of people do use it, but I also feel like not everyone that's using it is actually wearing it because they think they need it. I think it's just fun. And that goes for a lot of different things because I know that like a lot of people get bothered when people use a lot of concealer, at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to not needing something, but like personal preference and like what you like on yourself. And I feel like that's the whole point of makeup is to be able to express yourself the way you want. Although I do agree with you, like I definitely feel like you don't need all that. A lot of people don't that do wear it. The reason why a lot of YouTubers wear it is for educational purposes or just for fun. Adisaurus Rex says, fake lashes are pointless. Use a good mascara and you don't need eyelashes unless you naturally have little to no lashes. You know, I think that like I agree with her in the sense that I personally don't need fake lashes because I do use an eyelash serum and I have pretty long lashes, but sometimes I do like to use them for the dramatic effect or also for volume. Um, I personally don't need them for length, but sometimes I will put like a strip lash on and add mascara to it so that I have more volume. I don't wear lashes on the reg, that's for sure. And I like try to avoid them as much as possible. I do wear them a lot in videos because I think that it just creates such a good look. But in real life, I just can't stand wearing fake lashes for that long of a period of time. By the way, unpopular opinion. I don't know about this Jelly Pop primer. It is like glue, like I don't, I don't think I like that. When you do want to look more glamorous, especially when there's pictures being taken, I do think that lashes make a huge difference. I understand where she's coming from. It just depends on what you're going for and what kind of lashes you have. There's really no rules to makeup. So something that might bother you, then just don't do it, you know? But for some people, like that might be their favorite part of the routine. So Ashley Saucier says, starting a new and successful beauty and makeup YouTube page with a large following is damn near impossible. Or at least that's what I keep repeating in my mind when I think about my biggest dream to be a makeup content creator. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't agree just because I felt the same way too before I started my channel. I totally understand like the platform is so saturated. It might take longer than it took some people back in the day. Even though the platform's saturated, there are so many people in the world that like watching YouTube channels. And it's not like you can't follow more than 10 people on YouTube. I mean, you can describe to whoever you like. So I do think that you can still start a channel. I mean, that's how I felt. And I'm so glad that I got out of that because I love my channel. And yeah, I mean, I have almost 70,000 followers, which is awesome. And like, I never thought I would even get here, but it's still a small channel, but like, I don't care because I love 
doing it so definitely don't psych yourself out like if this is something that you want to do you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take so if you're telling yourself that you can't do it then you're right and if you are telling yourself that you can do it then you're right by the way i am wearing the haley's beauty reform liquid luxe foundation in 4.3 it's definitely darker than me but um it is 8 p.m. on a Sunday. We're not going anywhere. I've seen this comment a couple times, actually. This specific one is from Lifestyle Kelsey, and she says, Essence Lash Princess Mascara is way too overhyped. It's so clumpy, and it runs easily. That is so funny. Like, I feel like I'm just gonna, like, disagree with all of you guys. It is unpopular opinions. It's not that I disagree, and, like, I don't think that mascara would be so hyped if it wasn't so affordable. So I think that the hype is because it is really good and it's also affordable. Now, if that mascara was $10, which is still affordable, but not as affordable as like, what, what is it, like $3.99, I don't think it would be as hyped. But for the price and the performance, I give it a five out of five. For people that don't wanna to spend too much money on a mascara, that's a good option. It really has more to do with the price range. So Ashley Vargas says, I really hate when YouTubers have these stank face thumbnails for their videos or click baity titles. Sometimes it gets me so annoyed that I will refuse to watch the video. I might not be alone in this, but I think a lot of people forgive it because they might have to do with getting views, but I have a hard time getting past it. Obviously this is all my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. I don't speak for other YouTubers whatsoever. What I've noticed over the years that I've been on YouTube, which is only three, is that controversy gets more views and the viewers are you guys. And I'm not like saying there's anything wrong with that. I mean, obviously it's exciting when there's drama and controversy. They might rather see you do a negative review on something rather than a positive review. And so a lot of YouTubers do do that. You can work so hard on a video, but if your thumbnail and your title doesn't get someone's click, no one will see that video. Like that person won't even see the video. So thumbnails are so important and so are um, titles. I got so much crap for my Rare Beauty review because I had kind of a stank face, but I also didn't really love like two out of the three products that I tried. So I figured um, I can do a stank face because I didn't really like the foundation or the concealer. My thumbnail might be more attractive if I'm doing a little bit of a stank face. I understand why you get annoyed, I get it. You hold the power in what you wanna see from creators. I was watching a video by Jackie Ina and she was saying like, if you wanna see more people like you, you have to like actually go out and find creators that you like, that do what you like, and also engage with their content so that you they stay in the algorithm. If you don't like the stank faces or the, the negative looking kind of videos, then don't watch them, you know? And more people might do the same and then we will finally as creators be like, okay, they don't like that, time to switch it up. We are gonna do like what our audience wants, but also like what will get us more views because even though I do love YouTube, like this is also a job. So I, I mean, I'm gonna try my best to do my job my best. I hope that makes sense. Macy Freeman says, people only buy celebrity makeup lines because they like the celebrity. Love you so much. And I don't know if that was an opinion, so here is another one. Celebrity makeup lines are overhyped. I love you too, Macy. I don't think you should write off anything just because it's a celebrity who made it. I am really am liking Rare Beauty, and it is a celebrity makeup brand. So I don't think you should write it off because of that. But I do know that some people do buy products because they just like the celebrity and that's actually the whole point some of the time. I see some of you guys buying my makeup collection or my merch because you want to support me, because you like me. And it might not necessarily be that my lipsticks are your favorite shade, but you want to support me. A lot of people see it that way, like they just want to support their favorite celebrities. And I understand that celebrities have enough money, you don't necessarily need to support them with your money. People like collecting items, it could be like a hobby, I feel like fanatics kind of make that a hobby. And so there's a lot of different reasons why. I personally don't ever write off a brand, no matter what, unless it's like problematic. But the, I don't care like who did it, if it's a makeup artist or not, or a celebrity or not, or whoever. I will judge the brand by their quality, and then I will give you guys that review so you can make your own decisions. I totally understand that a lot of 
people get sales just from being celebrities. And you know, it is what it is. You do you boo, don't give your money to who you don't wanna give it to and support who you wanna support. But I totally understand. Natalie Ryan says, I hate when YouTubers or influencers promote expensive ass makeup, LOL. Like why are you recommending a Gucci bronzer that you got for free? That's why I love your channel. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. I do try to keep it on the more affordable side. Some influencers do get a lot of super expensive stuff for free and I feel like sometimes it's hard for them to realize like, yeah, it's good, but like, would you go out and buy it and spend that much money if that wasn't your job? And I feel like a lot of influencers just don't think about that. I personally don't think that you ever need to buy anything high-end. I mean, this is Revlon. And most of the things that I use that I love is drugstore. So I try to like save you guys money that way to show you that you don't need it. But you have to realize that some people enjoy it. Some people have a bigger budget for makeup and they like it. So when I do review more expensive things, I do it mainly for my audience that do like expensive things. And I'll recommend things like, okay, well, if you're thinking about buying this and you have the budget and you want to, it's pretty good, go right ahead. You know, I always try to like let you guys know like you don't need it. There are dupes everywhere and you can get the same awesome look for a fraction of the price. A lot of influencers will rave about something and almost like not mention like, hey guys, this is so good, but like, you don't need it, you could still get like a similar look with something else. I do think that a lot of YouTubers get super carried away because they do live in luxury and they need to realize that like most of their audience is middle class or even if you're like high class or whatever, like some people just don't have that budget for makeup because it's just makeup. Deborah Firestone says, I don't understand why influencers each week say they love new makeup. I really want to know if they really use everything they promote or do they just want the money? I totally understand like where your frustration is coming. Never in my life would I buy this many products. Like I literally buy hauls of drugstore makeup every week to create videos for you guys so that if you're eyeing a specific product, hopefully I can get you a review and tell you if it's worth your money or not. And yeah, sometimes I fall in love with product because there are so many products out there to choose from that are really good and some are really bad. If I tell you guys that I love all these new products, I mean like my monthly favorites, I'm literally talking about new favorite products of mine. I understand that that's not reasonable, but my job is not like a reasonable way to have makeup. It's literally my job. The reason why I have so, so much makeup to like share with you guys is really just for your own sake. You know, I always try to tell you guys like don't, you don't need to buy more, but if you are interested in some of this makeup, then let me tell you if it's worth it or not. I do have like my staple products that I love, but throughout the week I do try to use all the makeup that is new for me so that at the end of the month, I can actually tell you what my new favorites are. It's just the way it is. Like you try to do that for your audience. Like, trust me, it even hurts me to this day to spend so much money on makeup, but I do it for content. Okay, this is the last one I'm doing on YouTube. Brandy Geneva said, I hate the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I feel like I'm the only one. So you're not the only one, I think. So I actually got the L'Oreal Paradise as well, but I accidentally got it in waterproof. I don't know how much that would actually change the formula, but I didn't like it. And I also don't like better than sex mascara. I don't like anything that will make me like super clumpy, but I understand that for some people who don't really have very many lashes, they do need that clump or that volume like that. That's why a lot of people like that mascara, but for me, it's also a no-go. So Ashley Lamora 26 says, PR equals sponsorships automatically. I don't think this, but many do. I understand why you might think that. I mean, in my case, I do get a lot of makeup and PR, and you see me talking negatively. <sighs> now that I think about it, I stopped getting PR from CoverGirl, which is weird because I love CoverGirl. There's a couple brands I just stopped, like Carity. Obviously it bothers me in the sense that now I have to spend more makeup on videos, but I treat it as office supplies. Like if I get makeup, then it's my duty to tell you, hey, this is crap, this is not. Spend your money on this if you want to, this is not. And that makes my job easier because then 
that makes me not spend so much money on some products that might not be good getting it in pr really helps me a lot and it really helps a lot of smaller uh, creators because when you're first starting out like you don't have a lot of budget to be spending on makeup so i think pr is super helpful i'm super grateful to be in pr lists it all comes down to who you choose to watch honestly with me what you get what i give is what you get what you see is what you get yeah what you see is what you get like this is me like i'm not putting on a front or anything like that and i like my main goal for you guys is like not to spend your money on unnecessary things it just comes down to like who you decide to follow and you need to find creators that you feel comfortable with that are being honest with you if you feel sketched out and you feel like they're just selling you on something if you get that feeling then just unfollow them pr is actually really really helpful for some content creators others they do take advantage of it so you just have to weed out the youtubers or creators that you don't trust and that's okay you know you don't need to trust everybody and just stick to the ones that you're comfortable with because the bigger your channel gets the more pr you get usually so the more successful you are the more pr you're gonna get but then you don't want to use it just because your followers think that you're not genuine like that kind of sucks you know because you actually you work really hard for a long time without making any money and PR comes along and helps you out a lot. Some people do want to stay on PR lists, so they might pretend that they like something when they really don't. So that's when it comes down to who you want to follow and who you trust. Glam by Deep says, a lot of them think that they're experts, but they have so much to learn. I, uh, I totally agree with that in a sense. I don't know. I don't think a lot of people are like walking around on YouTube saying like, hey, this is the only way to do things, like I'm the expert. Makeup, again, there's no rules, you know? I personally don't act that way because I'm not a certified makeup artist. This is my hobby and now my job, but I never, I'm not certified. I never did this professionally. I will never tell you guys that. The way I do everything is how you're supposed to do it. If anything, most of the time when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'm literally like, hey guys, I'm not the best at eyeshadow, just so you know, because I'm not an expert. And I know that a lot of you guys that watch me do your makeup 10 times better than me. I know that, and I appreciate that. I'm mainly here to teach you what I know, and you can add that to your life. And I'm also here to show you good products and save you money. Over here in my channel, nobody is like self-proclaimed expert at all like i'm just here to play with makeup and make friends with you guys and i made that my job which is awesome you can create your own feed so find those creators that you feel comfortable that are not trying to scam you or belittle your skills or anything like that and follow those people maquillete con laromi said creo que deberían de enseñar más tutoriales se ha perdido eso exceso de reseñas which in that's in spanish but she said people should be filming more tutorials that that's kind of lost there are way too many reviews i totally agree with you all we do is reviews nowadays i agree with you but the reason why i do reviews is because that's what you guys ask for like not a lot of you guys ask for tutorials and also like i said i'm not an expert so there's not like that many techniques that i could be like showing you guys the first couple of videos that i um, put on my channel like the first year were a lot of tutorials but now it's like i've already kind of showed you what i know I don't know what else to show you at this point so now i'm just going to review and honestly I, I feel like a lot of YouTubers have said this, but tutorials don't really get views. And I know that that sucks for those of you who do watch them. I don't do everything for the views, but I do try to do videos that make me happy, but also videos that most of my subscribers want to see. And most of my subscribers want to see reviews. When I do vlogs I don't or travel videos, I don't really get that many views and it's a lot of work. And so it's very defeating to do so much work and bring a camera around and do all these things and people don't really watch. I'm just kind of sticking to videos that I enjoy but that also you guys want to see. By the way, I'm using these e.l.f. duos from the holiday collection. The last video that I did, I was reviewing a lot of their holiday collection and I've been wanting to use these and so far, 
they're so so nice they feel exactly like the bite size duos tabitha wimberly which i actually know i hate tabitha she said i hate double cleansing skincare gurus always rave about it but it just doesn't work for me so i'm not sure in what exact double cleansing you're talking about like if you're talking about washing your face twice then i don't really know about that because i don't wash my face twice but i do double cleanse in the sense that i remove my makeup and then i cleanse my skin i feel like a lot of people um would want to put face wash on their makeup and clean it out that way while that's a good way to remove your makeup you're not really cleansing your skin yet because you're first taking off that layer i understand why people double cleanse so in that sense i do double cleanse i think you should take off your makeup first and then wash your face but if you're talking about washing your face twice then i don't know i can't really tell you because i never do that so Paige nalvis said using fingers for eyeshadow is so much easier I agree in the sense that application is easier if you don't have nails like me, that's for sure. I don't think that you can blend out your eyeshadow as easy with your fingers as you can with a brush. We all use whatever tools are better for us, so if for you it's easier to apply it with your fingers, then do that because don't do what other people are doing just because that's what they're doing. But I do agree, applying eyeshadow is a lot easier to apply it exactly where you want it, but to blend it out, I could not do that with my fingers. Paul Arias said, fake freckles aren't cool. I have like mixed opinions. I personally think they look really cute because I do like freckles. And I know that some people get so bothered by that because they had freckles growing up and now it's like a cool thing. Like I understand where you're coming from. The way I see it is if freckles are cool now, embrace it like everybody is drawing dots on their face to look like you i say that's a compliment honey i personally think that they do look cute and i have seen a lot of youtubers do that but the couple times that i tried doing it it looked ridiculous i don't know like they look cute in pictures and things like that but i would love to see fake freckles in person i don't know how that would look whether i think they're cool I think anything's cool if you think it's a cool if it makes you feel comfortable if it makes you feel more secure If you feel better with it. I think it's cool. Pryosha photo says I hate seeing videos of every new product I want to see good products used more than once. I don't know if you've noticed that with me But I get in ruts with products I do use the same products all the time when I'm not doing a review the reason why you see all these new products is because Right now, reviews are just what people want and you gotta give people what they want. The reason why everyone uses new product in their videos and why also tutorials are dying is because YouTube has been around for a while now. Most people, not everyone, but most people that had an interest in learning how to do their makeup kind of already learned that. Nowadays, more than anything, people already know how to do their makeup in a way that they like it. So they just want to see reviews because it doesn't matter how good you can do your makeup, you never know if a product is good without trying it. So I feel like that's why people come to the creators to see what we think. If you follow me for a while and we seem to have similar likes and you respect my opinion and you wanna hear it, that's what I'm here for. And hopefully I can help you either get your new favorite product or save you some money rachel mary ramos she said most highlighters are not flattering i do think that the word flattering is subjective you know what might be flattering for someone might not be flattering for you but i agree in the sense that i have noticed that most of the highlighters that have been raved about or that i used to use are not flattering on me in my opinion this is what saved the day with highlighter guys it's the essence pure nude i use the sunlighter because it's darker but they also have a highlighter which is a little bit lighter and the reason why i use this is because it gives me an overall glow without showing texture so when it comes to highlight you put it on places that you want to bring forward you want to highlight quite literally and some people prefer to have a blinding highlight. Highlight is gonna emphasize your cheekbone, but it's also gonna emphasize acne, texture, pores, anything like that, which we all have. What someone's flattering 
what could be a blinding highlight might be super unflattering for someone that has a lot of textured skin or someone that does have textured skin might not care because they care more about the glow. So that is the final result. I definitely feel a lot better with makeup on with this little hairstyle. I don't like me with a middle part. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit more laid back. I hope that you guys didn't get bored and that you liked my opinion. I would love to know more of your unpopular opinions or what you guys think of the opinions that I talked about today. I love hearing you guys' uh, feedback. Remember, we are a community. You're not just my audience, you're my friends. Let's share opinions and also share our love for makeup together. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Video. Bye.